Knowing where the trap is, that's the first step in evading it. Frank Herbert from the novel Dune. As Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him in privately. Tell us, they said, when will these things happen, and what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? Jesus answered, Watch, out that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, claiming I am the Messiah, and will be deceived. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginnings of birth pangs. Matthew 23, 3-4 Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of many will go cold. But the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and the end will come. Matthew 24, verses 12 through 14. But about the day or the hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. As it was in the days of Noah, so will it be in the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up until the day Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing about what happened until the flood came and took them away. Matthew 24, 36-39 I don't have to remind you of all the tumult that dominates our daily headlines. School shootings, rioting that leads to destroying businesses, Women screaming how they love killing their babies. Russia, China, Ukraine, war, endless war on top of endless war on top of endless destruction. And on and on it goes. Man, you see, has not learned from history. Each generation says they are smarter and richer than their previous ages and we are now told that AI, a machine, is going to make us all immortal. The scariest headline is about to happen. A former president of the United States is being indicted. The goal is not justice. The goal is to render this man unqualified to run for a second term. Now, if you remember anything I have said, please remember this. The enemy wants those of us who believe and fear God to get angry and turn to violence. This is a trap I mentioned in the beginning. This will be their justification for demonizing all peoples of faith. The world is turning back to paganism and promoting a lifestyle that leads to pain and suffering. The current events of this world cannot continue as it will only lead to total destruction. Our money will not save us. Our government will not save us and the God of science will not save us. Pastor J.D. Farag Only divine intervention can save us. So I ask you, can you spare five minutes a day in prayer for this country? Many of us have pledged to do just that. We need to pray now.